Resuming debate, the Honorable Member for Bimmy. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to rise in this debate uh, on Bill C-26, which is intended to e improve our Canada Pension Plan. This is our public system, and since it was implemented in 1965 under the Liberal government of Lester B. Pearson, it offers contributors, when they reach the age of eligibility, payments that will help them to deal with the cost of life at their retirement and uh, ensure their future or, and their old age, rather. This is part of our public financing system for the Canadian system, which always also allows Canadians and their families to keep their savings while living comfortably without the insecurity of, uh, without financial insecurity. As members all know, probably, the Quebec government manages its own pension plan, which is the Quebec pension plan, which uh, works in the same way as the Canada pension plan. The improvements to the Canada pension plan that this bill makes uh, uh, does so with and making this investment in the future. This is a complete uh, system that is available to contributors at when they reach the age, as I said, of eligibility, and it will be available to them for future years. Uh, the improvement proposed will be deployed incrementally and uh, will work through the creation of a new account that is distinct and separate for extra funds dedicated to retirees, and uh, this will not impose a financial burden. That, uh, And as the indicated in the bill, the changes will be administered by the Canada Pension uh, Plan Investment Board, which will be uh, in a position to prepare financial statements concerning the amounts that are managed and it represents the extra uh, contributions and benefits. Uh, the number of people, according to Statistics Canada, who will be 65 and over is now more than the number of, of children between the ages of 0 and 14. In effect, uh, between July the 1st, 2015, the people, these uh, rather seniors count for 16.1 percent of the Canadian population versus 16 percent for young children. Currently, there are almost six million seniors in Canada, and this number will increase by 50 percent over the next 21 years. In my riding of Vimy, within uh, the heart of Laval in Quebec, the population of uh, seniors is already uh, significant. Because the population is aging, it is of tremendous importance to improve the current mechanisms that offer financial assistance to retirees. We have the facts before us and we know which way the wind is blowing. Bill C-26 will gradually improve the current system in order to help the needs of the population of seniors that we see on the horizon. Some members of the opposition believe that it's, this is just simply an, another tax increase and uh, they, for, as for in, uh, an increase in taxes, it's an absurd argument because it is a better way of saving money and it is limited and very specifically laid out. The opposition members are always talking about the tax-free savings account but this doesn't work for can Canadians who have a low income and even for people in the middle class. Uh, the higher the ceiling was, the less the poor people of this country would benefit from it. Let's be realistic. The previous government brought the maximum for tax-free savings account to $10,000. Does anyone really believe that low income Canadians and people from the middle class manage to pay the maximum amount into these accounts. This is a mechanism that can be dealt with effectively, but we can't be fooled. The $10,000 maximum only benefit the Canadians who have very high incomes, 
And on top of that, they used the TFSA to benefit from a tax cut. The people that the TFSA was supposed to help were precisely those who have been forgotten when this increase was put in place. It would have been better to deal with the issue of income inequality instead or using and using other mechanisms because low income Canadians won't would not see extra money in their pockets and wouldn't benefit from a comfortable retirement. We've heard many people say that low income Canadians could put the maximum amount into a TFSA. Does anyone seriously believe that low income workers and middle class workers who are living on, by, on their own means can pay all of their bills, eat well, pay down their debts, have a treat from time to time, and still manage to put $10,000 per year into a savings account. And really, we wouldn't be paying these people any, any favors, doing them any favors by saying this. For nothing to help seniors now. I think this argument is not only missing the point of this legislation entirely, but fails to recognize what this government has already done for seniors, both through the enhancements to existing programs and by fixing the mistakes from the previous government. The first budget made provisions to restore the age of eligibility to the OAS and enhance the GIS for low-income seniors, again, putting money directly in the pockets of those who need it most. This particular legislation doesn't do anything immediately because that is not its purpose. We have already made changes for the interim to help offset the rising cost of living for our most vulnerable seniors. So to say C26 does nothing for seniors now has very little to do with the nature of this debate to begin with. This is a long-term project that will ensure financial security for our seniors for decades. That has nothing to do with other adjustments to Social Security we have already made. The realities are a significant decline for a large percentage of employees in Canada who have access to a registered pension plan through their jobs. It is the shortfall in middle income, in income in retirement planning that is opening up as a result of disappearing corporate pensions. CPP reform is designed to address these shortcomings. The current maximum amount of income covered by the CPP is $54,900. An enhanced CPP will see that maximum raised to $82,700 by 2025. It will also raise the annual payout target from 25% of pre-retirement earnings to 33%. For retired Canadians, this could represent thousands of dollars in take-home pension income. Monsieur le Président, Mr. Speaker, with Bill C-26, we are preparing for the future. We are looking to the well-being of our seniors and retirees, uh, th and we're giving them a means to save some money, and for, especially for those who don't have private pension plans. We are dealing with the rising cost of living, and we are preserving a certain standard of living for all families so that everyone will be able to retire in dignity. And more than anything else, we are proceeding with an affordable way and viable way of allowing us to have this pr kind of prosperity. Thank, now thank you, Mr. Speaker. Questions?